Good evening and welcome to the Sunderland Select Board meeting. Tonight is Monday, August 17th. And we have a actually a very pretty brief meeting tonight. We just really have two, um, two main topics <clears throat> and then our minutes to go over. Uh, we've got our minutes and we're going to discuss the North Main Street order of taking. And then we're going to have a brief discussion with Sarah. Hello, Sarah there in the upper square of the Sunderland Hollywood Squares. Uh, and uh, we're going to just talk about some trail system planning process. So, <clears throat> um, so before we get rolling, let's just do our minutes and get that out of the way. So, this is the minutes. All right. Um, and since Scott is not on yet, I'll second on the minutes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Two to zero on the minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Um, why don't, and then we're going to actually skip over because we don't have any new information on the discussion of benchmarks for employee wages. We discussed that last week. We're still waiting on information from the state probably in October or November. So, um, and I don't think we really have, uh, do you have any uh, updates you want to go over at all, Jeff? No, not really. Just on, on the, I think included in your packet, I got, um, I think a 20, I just added the 2010 uh, breakdown of, I think it was 2010. Um, yeah, fiscal year 2010 uh, revenue sources, and it was at 26% okay. in 2010. Um, so I'd, I'd have to do a little bit more digging to go back further than that, but that, that okay. was the only update and why that was on. That's a good start. So that gives us the percentage of revenue that's made up from the state. So, and that's a very interesting trend line to see how that is, has gone down. And that's sort of the other half of the, you know, a lot of federal money to the states has gone down at the same time. And it all just kind of falls down to the towns at the bottom. Um, and I think we'll, we'll wait maybe for Scott to do um, the order of taking one. How's that? So we can, um, maybe we'll pop you on first, Sarah, if you've got, if you can sure. give us the elevator pitch. I'm not pitching anything. I'm coming for guidance. Okay. Um, and just to kind of, um, you know, share with the community that, um, you know, we got CPA funding and we're starting a process um, with professional help from Carlos Nieto to plan the townwide uh, trail system um, for biking, walking, um, and you know all modes of transportation, um, not cars. <laughs> no cars on the trail. <laughs> um, so, um, and uh, um, the first thing I wanted to check out with you all is um, where the town stands as far as. Uh, economic development plan. I, I know that um, Sherry had been working on developing an agritourism or ecotourism plan and I, I don't know if that ever went anywhere and just wondering, just, hey, there's Scott. so we have, um, we know the context in which we're working. It will make a big difference. I don't know how far she got on, I didn't see anything on like a specific plan. And I don't know, I don't know if you came across anything, Jeff, um, but I know as a general rule, that stuff that we have talked about, about like factoring in because of all the biking and everything and, and other things, you know, that, that's definitely a facet of the economy you, you want to support. Um, so I know, I know we're definitely, you know, in support of that, you know, why wouldn't you be, right? It's a it's a nice economic boom and it's a great way to utilize the natural uh, resources of the town and everything. <clears throat> but well, I don't. Yeah, no, good. I was just going to say there's a, there's so much potential. I mean, it's what right. we have the most potential for probably. Um, but um, there there may be there may be people who don't want who just want to keep it all secret and don't want more people to come. And I just don't know if there's been a sort of a a any kind of consensus or, you know, or if any kind of formal agreement or anything of that, that we're, that well, we want I would, to support tourism. Yep. 
Not, nothing specifically like that. I think you may want to talk to, 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 and you may have already done it, talk to the CONCOM because I know a number of years back they did a lot of work with trail maps and with um, landowners and things like that because I know some people didn't mind people using the trails but they didn't want to publicize it, you know, right. per se that, you know, this section of the trail goes through my property or whatever. So, right. um, but. Yeah, and um, we've got CONCOM members on the Pathways Committee, so we're, um, that's good. Okay, good. Um, good. Um, okay, so so as it, we may we may want as as this this conversation and this process goes, we may want to um, talk in the community about that question. Do we want to um, attract tourists? <laughs> you know, yep. like. Right. What um, is their community support for it overall? Yep. Yeah. So we may in this coming year want to kind of include that question in the conversation. Yeah. Maybe um, look at, I know um, Sherry been working on like the newsletter and that mailing list. Maybe that would be a group to hit up for like a, um, like a survey monkey survey or something just to ping folks to say, Hey, you know, how do you feel about, you know, these types of things do you think the town should do more to promote them or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. okay. Um, and then, um, because uh, Mount Toby is such a big part of um, our, you know, area of the town, and it's such an incredible resource um, for many activities. So that's going to be a big part of our project. And um, we're I, we, we realize that there are many, many, many different kinds of people who use Mount Toby in different ways. Um, and I sent you a list. Um, um, I'll just, for the benefit of the audience, read like, these are, this is what I know of, and I just want to see if you know of any more. There's people who have an interest in Mount Toby, the water district volunteer firefighters who do the rescues up there, um, the highway department that because there are town roads up there. Um, there's a lot of private landowners, hikers, ATVers, there are lumber uh, interests. Um, UMass. Yeah, there's the educational institutions. Um, Amherst College also has land up there and I know I, I see students up there doing projects. Yep. Um, um, conservationists, there's hunters, yep. um, mountain bikers, um, rock climbers, dog walkers like me, equestrians, um, neighbors, the butters, um, and partiers, somebody mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Partiers, doubt that. Um, <laughs> et cetera, and historians and archaeologists, because there's actually an archaeological site up there. Um, and all, all manner of different kinds of scientists. Um, so am I missing any communities that, I, that, um, I probably covers the bulk of them unless, oh, uh, Eversource. 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 Oh, Eversource. the power lines. That's right. Oh yeah. Thank you. And actually the, um, on that same corner too, the, the railroad tracks go up that little that little bit on this Route 63 side, so. Who owns those railroad tracks? Are they like a public? Is it, what is no. it, Pan, Pan? Um, Pan Am. Pan Am, yeah. Pan Am Railways. Hmm. Not to be confused with the, the defunct airline. <laughs> they off the name. Yeah. Hmm. Off the name, dude. Oh. Oh. Uh, John wrote, are there some running groups? Yeah, they're yeah they're probably really, yeah, trail cross runners. Country runners. Nope. I thought you might. I have that on my list. Cross country runners, snowmobilers. Yep. Botanists. <laughs> Lots of different folks. Yeah, and and we know there. You know, is once we start working on it, there's some potential for conflict or. Um, uh, there's also some man caves up there. I found. <laughs> there's, a, there's some like little, you know nice yep. little huts um anyway um do you have any advice as to how to kind of um proceed with the conversation among all of these stakeholders 
or you know any guidance as to you know how you think we should go about kind of building community consensus mm. um i mean you guys the work you guys did on the the trail in the back and everything that i think like you know what you did with that was a good a good approach um you know there's probably you're probably going to use have to use a number of different ways of getting you know community consensus and you know as we've seen from like meetings like even on our next topic like north main street like you one at one meeting you may get one group of people and then another meeting you may get a totally different group of people so you know you, right. you unfortunately you probably have to use a whole bunch of different ways to communicate with folks and things like that so I know how to reach some of these groups, but others I I, I really don't. Um, so um, I don't it's know. always a challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no um, there's no magic bullet, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, As I was right. dealing with the software update and getting out of the network, did I miss what the <laughs> goal of the conversation was with uh, all these stakeholders? We're working on a townwide trail system. We're oh, nice. doing the planning for it. And that Mount Toby is going to be a big part of that. Right, you right. Know, we have town roads on Mount Toby. They're public trails. And it's an incredible resource for the town. And it's like with the Riverside Park, we kind of got the town more connected to the river. And now we kind of want to, you know, get the town more connected to the mountain. Makes sense. Um, yeah and but um there are many 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 people who have an interest in mount toby and we're i'm just trying to kind of set the stage for how do we kind of have a community conversation to like meet the most needs of the most stakeholders hmm. and and consider everybody's perspective in the planning no that's great thanks for thanks for the clarification i'm going to turn lights on yeah, you have a huge variety. It's really just like reaching out to the entire public, really, when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So. Um, um, one idea, Sarah, and, and I don't know if we could do this or not, but um, maybe like uh, temporary signage uh, around the area so that people who are using it are aware that there is a yeah. effort going on to to more clearly define the trails and um, if they're interested information about how to point them to a website or something where they can get more information about how to get involved that's um, okay idea. that's a good idea maybe you could put up something on the town website like another little page for you guys or something you know mm -hmm. that would have that info on there i think we're gonna have to mm -hmm. like proactively get reach people though because i mean it's yep. not like we're going to capture a lot of people just by putting something on the web. Yeah, you're not going to generate curiosity. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I wonder what the town is doing with Montobi trails. I go to the website. No, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like you said, at the trailheads, at those points of contact, you know, something yeah, simple it. would uh, reach out to at least the people who participate and then landowners thereafter, companies thereafter. We, we have a clear line to reach out to Eversource. That's pretty easy. We know how to do that. Okay. You know, those are pretty straightforward. Should I talk to Cindy about, you know, if she, you know, knows what, what whatever contact she can give me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I have contact at Eversource. Oh, great. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Happy to help with that. All right. Good. That's a good idea to put up a sign. All right. That's that. And, and, and do you have any other guidance you want to give me as we embark on, on this? Uh, you included wreck, I thought I heard. So one set of signs could be down there by the pond as well. It's not mm -hmm. just walking wreck. There's fisher people who fish there True. and light right. building. Right. Right. I so did those, not put that on my list. So those kinds of uh, activity points, whether it's trailhead parking or, you know, the small launch or, you know, one of, one of the spots at the end of pick x mountain road and say listen hey as you're atving through here stop slow down and read this sign <laughs> <laughs> um 
Um, just so you know, like, uh, I already did have a conversation with the volunteer firemen, mm -hmm. and they told me, mm -hmm. oh, what we really need is a numbering system for the intersections on Mount Toby. Um, oh, it would be so much oh. easier for us to, to do our rescues if the, the intersections were numbered and then, mm. you know, that's true never because... would have occurred to me. So it's really helpful to, to talk to. <laughs> yep. Because you could number the intersection and then somebody can capture the GPS coordinates with a phone or whatever. Yeah, you know? we're, and they could just, you know, it'll be a lot easier to rescue them if they can just exactly you know, identify like what intersection they're near. Right. Being able to find the victim is a good first it's, step to rescue. It is. <laughs> I'm at the corner of the oak tree and. <laughs> yeah. So that's something that will be included in this program. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sounds like it's a good one. So. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate so much. it. Alrighty. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thank you. <sighs> on to our last exciting topic. This is for the. Uh, we're we're going to take a vote tonight on the order of taking for the North Main Street easements for the construction project. Um, and I noticed you had a, a note in there too about the timeline, Jeff, right? About um, how long, somebody was wondering how long it will, the construction project itself will actually take, right? Yeah, so uh, right now the, the plan is it's gonna go out to bid uh, mid-September, about a month, and then hopefully begin construction early in the spring of 2021 and hopefully not last past one construction season. So the, the okay. goal is to wrap up, um, you know, by the, the end of the summer, fall of 2021. Okay. Um, but so, this is a mass dot project and federally funded. So I, I think it, at that point, it's um, how quickly it happens is a little bit out of our hands, but um, nope. we certainly don't want it to last longer than it has to. So it, it, unlikely to take five years. So that I know somebody had that concern. So because yes. of the wording in there. Yeah. So the easements are for five years, and that's what town meeting voted. I think in 2019 um, was to authorize the the easements for five years. So that that's just um, you know it, and and I think my understanding is that the idea was that the easements would happen earlier in the process and so that would yep. give us more time um but yes the the goal is is to give them back as soon as the project is done yeah makes sense give themselves a little buffer in there especially if you're going yeah a little wider window than the the actual construction of it so and okay. if, I, if i could mr chair jeff could you mm. explain again one more time just for the the viewing public that this is not land taking these are construction easements only yes Nope. Uh, nope. That is true for the majority of the easements, the vast majority of the easements. I think there are a total of 46 of them. Um, there is one permanent easement necessary for the sidewalk. Um, okay. and, and so that is, uh, you know, again, the owner still owns the property. The easement is just a right to pass over it, um, a right to access. And there are a couple of utility easements that, right. that are also permanent. Um, mm -hmm. But I think there are only four permanent easements and one sidewalk easement out of, out of the total of 46. The rest of them are temporary five years. If somebody, a uh, construction worker, needs to step on the property um, for whatever reason, you know, it, it allows them to do so. Um, but yes, they, they would expire uh, at the end of the project in, in five years. Certainly. And again, right. we're not, there's no, no taking of any properties in any of this. So I want to just make exactly. sure that that keeps getting clarified. Right. Excellent point. So there's no confusion. <clears throat> and this is a good milestone in the project. So we're inching closer to getting it rolling, which will be nice. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So um, author is, is, you're looking for Mr. Chair an authorization to sign the order of taking? That is correct. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Three to zero on that. So that. I would there should be a, a copy in, in the signature folder. And I think that that yep. just needs to be 
notarized and then we'll get that submitted. Um, and for the North Main Street residents, um, now that this is done, as soon as it gets recorded, um, those that chose not to donate the properties, they got let offer letters for um, fair value for the easements because we understand it oh. is an inconvenience and those checks will be cut and then we're going to be sending a letter probably early next week um, asking them to sign a uh, fill out a W-9 and but their checks will be made available and, and um, we'll, we'll get those out to people as well. All right, thanks. That's good logistical information. Hey, folks Jeff. appreciate that. Thank good. you, Jeff. You're welcome. Jeff, I'd just like to uh, thank you for uh, that. That was just an undertaking in itself and time of COVID didn't make it any easier. So nice job on that. Thank you. Well, Cindy has been a huge help as well, getting getting those letters out. And yeah, and that, all that. it's all so the work. It, it's a team effort. Thank you, though. You are. All right. Um, before we wrap up and get to our other important dates, remember, does, are there any public comments before we uh, wrap this meeting up? So, uh, Mr. Chair, I, I mm -hmm. would say I had an opportunity to listen to the uh, school committee meeting the other day, and I was um, um, I was very impressed with the questions that were asked and the answers that were given. Um, it seemed like a lot of people did a lot of homework. And I and and I just I don't know if um, you can any you can make anybody I know you can't make anybody or anybody really uh, understands the the amount of time and effort um, that the school committee and the administration um, but I I I for one appreciate that they were able to answer almost, if not every question that was that was asked of them. And, and I, I know how hard it is just for us to do town meetings to have and try to uh, somehow think of everything that may be asked. Um, they did a wonderful job. They, they uh, I think uh, Ben um, and uh, Darius in the school committee did a, a nice job. and. It's very difficult, and I'm sure that you may not. Um, and I, I, one thing I do think is that they'll be able to uh, respond, and they understand the importance of maintaining the data and watching the data for any changes. And I know it's a a, a trying time, um, but I I I have I, I do have confidence in, in the administration. They seem to have their uh, they seem to really understand and, and appreciate all of the uh, responsibility that's been put on them. So I would just like to thank them. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, they've been putting a lot of work into that. <clears throat> oh, that's great. All right. Um, David. No? Yeah. Greg, go ahead. Yes. All right. Hey. Uh, first of all, thank you for that. But uh, let me also, uh, apologize again uh, I just spoke with uh, Darius and it seems like there are some logistical challenges to rolling out the uh, the plan uh, so there will be probably another school committee meeting Thursday uh, or perhaps another time but uh, it seems like all of the towns are um, again not uh, not um, looking at reversing any decisions uh -huh. but are instead uh, perhaps having to slow the rollout of the hybrid. Okay. So more to come on that then, in other words, for folks. More to come. All right. Yep. There you go. Thanks. All right. Thanks but, a lot, but, Greg. But, but Greg, I, I would I just like to add that that's what I was trying to say. It seems like the administration is very attuned to what's, what's going on and trying to make sure that they get it as right and as safe as possible. And, and I, for one, and again, I don't have children right now, but I did, and, and I, I, I'm a parent. I understand the concerns, um, but just by just you're having another meeting um, to, to straighten things out or to, to work on a little bit, that to me is a, is a good sign. It's a good sign that you're thinking and, and no one just sitting back and on the laurels. They're, they're trying to 
do the best job possible. That's good. Thanks, Tom. And, and I agree with your assessment of uh, the competence of the team and uh, appreciate also uh, everyone with the school, you know, schools from staff, teachers, et cetera, IAs are doing to, uh, to help move the school year forward. A lot of work. All right, thanks. <clears throat> All right, just before we wrap up, just as a reminder, we've got primary early voting Saturday, August 22nd through Thursday, August 27th. And the primary election will be Tuesday, September 1st, 2020. And our next meeting for the select board will be Monday, August 31st on the same Zoom channel at 6.30 p.m. Um, otherwise, that's it. Do we have a, um, is there a motion to adjourn? Hi, David. What? Oh, David. Wendy. Uh, I didn't yes. Hear what you said because it froze. Um, but I wanted to, to say that the applications by mail is huge. We have like 700, oh. okay. which Great. is um, a big, huge, uh, big, huge number on election day. Um, <laughs> happening, <laughs> happening in the office now. So um, that is successful. The town Great. hall will open up Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday from eight to noon. The last day to register to vote is Saturday, and that will be from nine to eight at uh, Al Richards on seven South Main Street, Jacoby. Sorry about that. That's okay. Um, and we'll go until Thursday. Okay. Yeah. And then the primary is on September 1st from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the library. Because right. there is a whole presidential election going on this year, so, you know. There is, and people are very doubtful about the mail, about their ballots going in. Um, Cindy put on a link for me today so that, to assure people where their ballot is and tracking it. Okay. So when I send it out, it will have um, the date I sent it out. When I get it back, it will have the date that it comes back. So okay. if people keep checking it, and it's on our website, they keep checking it, um, and they're not seeing that their ballot has re gotten back to me, then they just need to call, obviously, before September 1st, so that we can um, find another way for them to make sure their vote is counted. All right, great. I think Appreciate that's it. all. That's all I have. It, well, and that's a good point because, in addition to the um, the school departments, and everything everywhere, town clerks, and all those other folks are really scrambling to get everything ready for this year's election. So it's a lot of work. Normally, okay. let alone what's going on this year. So we appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. It's just people just need to know there's a drop box that Cindy ordered. I believe came in today. Oh, I think um, George should be. Um, putting it in by the end of the week. So it's a bigger secure box. Um, but until then, people should still be using the black box that is also secure to the right of the front doors. It's just smaller. Yep. Um, okay. And uh, I thought there was something else I wanted to say. But I guess that's it. I'll say, oh, the entrance is going to be from the rear. Okay. And put out a call today about that, that to enter from the rear of the building and exit out the front, unless you're handicapped, then you'll just swing back around to the, to to the, the elevator. elevator. Okay. And I, I'm not quite sure if Cindy's on, maybe Cindy can say she ordered some signs she so is. that people would know. So if she's I am on. on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I did I order signs. Sign. I'm still waiting for the signs, but um, so I'm, I'm checking them and I'll check on those again tomorrow. So we'll have something at the end of the sidewalk for folks okay. to park in front of the building, as well as um, one up at the front door saying that that's exit only and to enter from the back of the building with arrows showing that direction. Oh, traffic flow management. That's good. Yes. Great. And that's also where the new box is going to be at the back of the building. Which is okay. Okay. We'll be, and there's a lot more parking out there as well, and it's easily accessible to the elevator. That's true. All right, great. Thanks. Nice work. All right. Um, we have a uh, motion to adjourn, unless there's anything else. Motion. All right. We have a All second. second. 
All those in favor of adjournment? Aye. 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 All right, thanks. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>